All right, so here's the tutorial I promised to you guys. The thing that I'm gonna build is not gonna be a behemoth. Uh... Shut up. If I make a tutorial on how to build the Century Bomber, it's literally gonna be a four hours long video. So here it is. A cool fighter that flies super well. And yes, for those who are wondering if I can make a plane that flies properly, yes I can. I just didn't want to. It's boring. So yeah, right now I'm just kind of showcasing the plane so that you can know if it's your jam or not. This plane has two engines, a rocket engine and a magnetic engine. And yes, I will show you how to build a magnetic engine in this video and explain it. So yeah, I don't have to worry about that. I use the normal rocket engine, so if you want to go faster, you can use a super rocket engine. Because it's better than the normal rocket engine. I mean, it literally has super in front of its name, so. But why didn't you use the super rocket engine, you ask? Well, it's because that I'm stupid. So don't be stupid like me. Okay? So enough bull crapping, I'll shut my mouth so you can watch the build process of this plane. And enjoy. By the way, I'll be back for the uh, magnetic engine explanation. Oh, and be ready for some good World of Warship music. So yeah, um, here's the part where I build the magnetic engine, so pay attention. Though it's, it's not hard, it's really not hard, it's super easy actually. Just, just do exactly, never mind, it, it, it's done, That that's the magnetic engine, it's the two suspensions and three magnet, that's the engine. That That's the engine. Now later in the video I'll show you how to configure it, but yeah, that, that's the engine.
All right, so here's where I'll teach you how to configure your magnets. You bind the forward key in the backward slot and the backward key in the forward slot. So basically you invert your keys, simple. Remember to always turn weld, loose parts only and magnets only off, off, okay? Toggle is a preference, so do whatever the f you want with it. Oh, I'm sorry, I just said the F word, didn't I? Now, the important part. If you want to have more speed, you can increase your range and strength. But you have to remember that while increasing strength causes no harm, increasing your range over the safe spot, which is different for every vehicle, will cause you to lag. Fun! isn't it now the further away you're from the safe spot the more lag you get so it's basically trading speed for fps a deal with um satan himself and you should only use this engine while you're building a small vehicle because using this on a big vehicle is gonna lag you believe me into the fourth dimension why would you use this system you ask because it's better so why not? Oh, and by the way, if you want extra speed on this plane, you can always add more super rocket engines. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, also the magnetic engine gives you the ability to instantly stop in air and uh, fly backward, which is actually pretty overpowered. There you go, I'm gonna shut up again.